Hey guys, what's up? Yes, I'm doing another video on Megan and Nikki. What's new? So, <laughs> so on Twitter, as usual, I came across this post and it says, Billboard estimates that Hiss earned around $121,000 in royalties from on-demand audio streams alone during the tracking week. This does not include pure sales, which Megan broke the female rap record for in the 2020s decade. Meanwhile, Bigfoot only made $44,000. So basically, they're trying to shake, not Billboard. Billboard is just reporting the news. But the person who made this post is basically trying to shade Nikki. They've even edited her Pink Friday album 2 cover to have Megan standing where Nikki would normally stand. And people are dragging Nikki, they're dragging Megan. You know, the Bobs and Hotties are going back and forth. But if you look at the situation rationally, with common sense, I'm not saying Hotties, you don't have common sense, but I'm just saying regular people looking at the situation it's so obvious nikki won like this is ridiculous okay so megan made one hundred and twenty-one thousand dollars from royalties alone this does not include the streams and the sales nikki also made forty four thousand dollars from royalties alone here's why this isn't the gag or the drag against Nikki that you think it is. Nikki made a joke of a song, ranting, basically going off on the internet in like two days. She didn't spend time out of her life cre creating a whole marketing strategy, no radio promotions, no heavy support from the label, no music video, no playlisting. I mean, there probably was playlisting, but like none of that heavy investment that would normally be required for an actual single nikki did none of that she just wrote a song she was in her feelings she wrote a song in a few hours it would have actually been released earlier if not for you know some discrepancies with clearing the beat that was initially supposed to be on bigfoot she releases the song basically for nothing and she still made a little less than half the money that megan made mind you this took megan seven full days nikki did this in four days with no promotion no nothing like nothing she just put a song out there and it was all driven by fans and like they said this is royalties so sales need to be added to this all of this with basically no effort it was a joke of a song she was basically having fun meanwhile megan invests so much money in the music video go watch the music video for his it's a really nice music video really the song is not very good but the visuals are killer but there was a huge machine behind his megan is gonna have to pay everyone involved in making the song i mean she's probably already paid like the directors and the music like all the people who are involved in the background already but we have to talk about promotion radio promo playlisting devil nation all these like we know they're investing a lot of money into the song the royalties are not really covering the amount of money that is being invested in the song and i'm not saying it's a horrible thing I'm not saying that, you know, she's losing money because I think this is a long-term investment, right? This song is really meant to bring as much attention to Megan right now to boost up her upcoming album and her upcoming tour. So I think you're being wise with how they're spending their money. But there was still a lot of money invested into making the song the success that it is versus Nicki, who basically did nothing. So those of you who are acting like this is some gag, this is some drag on Nicki, it really is not. It really is not. In the grand scheme of things, Nicki is probably winning because she basically had to invest next to nothing to make the song happen yeah and also i've seen people drag nikki for coming out with multiple versions of the song so this comment i'm not gonna read it exactly but it's basically saying nikki did 18 versions of a uh, super freaky girl or one of her songs and discounted them at 69 cents i don't know about that i don't know about 18 different versions of super freaky girl or any other song but based on how the charts work nowadays it is highly possible this is not the drag that you think it is everyone is doing it just like you're pointing out nikki did it megan also did it i mean it wasn't that many versions but everyone is doing multiple versions taylor swift ariana grande some of the most successful artists currently are doing it so it's not the drag that you think it is but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section below thanks for sticking around and i will see you in the next one bye